Hello friends, it's Christy Marcott. In today's video, I'll be using Doodlebug Design's Monster Madness Collection. I purchased Doodlebug's Monster Madness Collection last year. It was released fairly late for Halloween cards, so I never got around to using it. It's an adorable collection, so I wanted to make sure to use it for Halloween cards this year. Doodlebug does have a new Halloween collection coming out either this month or next month called Sweet and Spooky, and I will be purchasing that one as well. Along with the 6x6 paper pad, I also purchased the 12x12 collection, mostly for the tone-on-tone -tone designs, and also the coordinating petite prints. I also have the cardstock icons, the puffy sticker icons, two packs of Chit Chat Ephemera, and two packs of the Odds and Ends Ephemera. I love Doodlebug's Ephemera, especially the Odds and Ends. The images are adorable. I purchased a few more items from the collection, two shape sprinkles, tiny candy corn and midnight magic. The stars are really cute. I also have a handful of different doodle pops, which I ended up not using this time. I'm using this collection to make Halloween cards for the residents at a nearby retirement home. I only make cute Halloween cards, so Doodlebug is usually my first choice for paper collections. Even though this is last year's release, it is still available, and I will have links in the description box if you're interested. And I'll also add a link for the new Sweet and Spooky collection. It's in the Coming Soon section at several stores, and you can also pre-order it at a cherry on top. When I'm starting a new 6x6 video, sometimes I'll pull out several stamp or die sets that I think would be useful. I'm showing some of them here, but I ended up not using a single one. Instead, all of the sentiments I'm using are from either the sticker sheet, the cut aparts, or the chit chat ephemera pack. For embellishments, I will be using Love from Lizzie peel-offs. I'm showing just the pinstripe style here, but I'll also be using some of the mini shapes. And if you are interested in purchasing Love From Lizzie peel-offs, I do have a link in the description box below. This video is one of my traditional 6x6 videos, so I won't be doing a full voiceover. For all of my other videos, I do record a full voiceover, but not for my 6x6 videos. I start with a 6x6 paper pad, and you'll see the entire process of turning that paper pad into a set of cards. The only thing you don't see is my die cutting. I love using card sketches for inspiration, and if you are interested in any of the sketches I use in this video, I share all of that information on my coordinating blog post. That link is provided in the description box below, or you can head over to christymarcott.com. I know a lot of people prefer to head to my blog before even watching the video. I share a lot of information over there, pictures of the cards, the sketches, and all of the products I use. Since it takes several hours to turn a 6x6 paper pad into a set of cards, this video has been sped up five times. The real-time recording was just over four and a half hours, and that's not including any of my planning, prep, or die cutting time. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I know someone will probably ask about my finger, if you follow my Instagram page, I recently shared about injuring my finger. Last weekend, I thought for sure I broke my finger, but I was very fortunate and I didn't. It's still really sore, so I am keeping it wrapped up. It was a little awkward to make cards with my finger wrapped, but I made it work. If you don't enjoy watching the entire process, you can always head to the end to see the cards.
here are all the leftover pattern paper scraps. I had quite a few small pieces this time. And I still have the two full sheets of the mini tags. I find them too small to use for cards, especially since they're going to the retirement home. And since I purchased the 12 by 12 collection, I was still able to use the tags just a larger size. In addition to the paper pad, I also used 15 sheets of 8.5 by 11 and one sheet of 12 by 12 solid colored cardstock. And that does not include the cardstock for my card bases. I made 29 cards using Doodlebug Designs Monster Madness 6 by 6 paper pad along with some of their 12 by 12 coordinating sheets. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. I have several other Doodlebug collections I'm planning on using in a 6x6 video. It's just a matter of finding time to do them. The next one will probably be Farmer's Market. So if you haven't purchased that one yet, you may want to check it out. And I will add a link in the description box. I figured I'd tackle some of the seasonal and holiday collections before using their new cat and dog collection. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.